Hello fellow sim racers. Back in January, the guys at United Racing Design sent me a work in progress version of their latest GTE car mod for Assetto Corsa. I made a video about it and without any exaggeration, I've had at least one question about when it's going to be released every single day since. Well, the wait is over and the URD Biro EGT is now available in their online store and today's video takes a look at the finished product. When I took a look at the work in progress car, it was really starting to look the part. But I think you'll agree that looking at these pictures, it really is very pleasing on the eyes. Externally, it captures the look, feel, and dare I say it, the stature of the real car very well, while the internal details are as good as anything I've seen in Assetto Corsa. I've always felt that textures have been a real strong point of URD cars, and the latest release is no exception. And combined with the on-trend modern GT car lighting effects, it all comes together to form a very sorted car from an aesthetic standpoint. So then, the new GTE car looks the part, but what about the driving side of things? First up, I mentioned in my January video that I felt the need to turn up the car-specific force feedback settings so I could get the same feel as other cars in Assetto Corsa. Well that problem's gone away, and the car's force feedback behaviour is much more in line with the other Assetto Corsa GTE cars. However, it did mean that in the first few corners the car felt like I was driving through molasses until I reset the car specific force feedback values to their default setting. As to the behaviour of the car, I initially described it as somewhere between the Corvette and the 911 RSR. But my take now is that it's somewhere between the Corvette and URD's other Detroit GTE offering. The other touch point that came to mind, though I don't trust that it's not a sort of guilt by association thing, is the BMW M6 in Assetto Corsa Competizione. Let me explain what I mean. The car does behave like a front engine GT car. However, the balance on the stock setup at least is such that the front end doesn't feel sluggish on turning, unlike the Corvette for example. Equally, there's a good balance mid-corner, and as long as your right foot isn't overly burdened with mass, the corner exit behaviour is as good as you'd like. All in all, it drives like I would expect a GTE car that's much closer to being a prototype than a road car. Oh, and one final note, it's not a million miles away from the driving experience in that other racing sim. Like the Detroit car, the Biro seems to be of a similar performance level to the other GTE cars in Assetto Corsa, at least from the limited testing I've had time to conduct. Though the usual caveats still apply when using modded content alongside stock cars, and those running leagues may need to consider adding ballast or restrictor values to balance out the various GTE cars. I must admit that I'm a bit of a fan of the way the real car sounds. It's Perhaps not the most sonorous machine, but I'm drawn to its unsubtle nature. But my personal preferences aside, the sound design of the Assetto Corsa mod is absolutely dead on internally. The slightly muted engine note is complemented by the subtle rasp of the exhaust when on throttle, which increases as you let off the gas, along with that distinctive diff whine. The downshifts add an aggressive crackle to the exhaust note which, were you not familiar with the prototype, would lead you to question whether something was broken. But it's not, and that's just how this absolute unit rolls. Externally, it's more of the same, only the exhaust crackle sounds, well, completely broken when you're off the throttle, just like the real thing. So, all in all, I'm pretty pleased with the final product. I'm the first to admit that I don't have the technical knowledge to judge a modded car on anything other than my own gut feel. And to me, the Biro EGT feels believable, and it passes the all-important but highly flawed does it meet my preconceptions test. But more than that, there's obvious attention to detail throughout the mod, in the driving dynamics, the sound design, and perhaps most obviously in the visuals. All in all, I'd say the car is more than worth the asking price, which is pretty much equivalent to a cup of coffee from a well-known chain store. 
If you're interested in checking out the Biro EGT, then there's a link in the video description. And that pretty much signals the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it would be great if you could hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can see more content like this in the future. So all that's left to say is goodbye, thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.